Welcome back to Jethro's Garage. I appreciate y'all coming in here and sitting in the garage with me for a spell. Uh, it's not a horrible day out there. My fan is working again, and it's loud, but that's okay. I've got a little microphone here underneath my beard. <laughs> y'all like how I hide it? <laughs> um, here today to show you some snap-on stuff. Um, I know people have mixed feelings on Snap-on, but hey, it's, it, it can be some pretty good stuff. Today is this 48-piece uh, SAE and metric thread restore kit. Y'all give me just a minute. I'll bring y'all up here and we'll have a look at this thing. So we got the Snap-on RTD48. It's 48 piece metric and SAE thread restorer kit. Made in the USA. Lifetime warranty. I'm not completely sure, but I know I was able to get some stuff swapped out on mine. Um, some, some dealers call it a consumable. Some don't, but so this is one of those tools that is, has a off the tool truck equivalent, okay? This tool is not made by Snap-on. Um, Snap-on makes a lot of their own tools. I don't want to put a figure on it like 70% or 80% or something like that. I, I don't want to say that. Um, what I want to say is that they make a lot of their own tools. Snap-on branded stuff, they make a lot of it especially the hard line stuff. In other words, sockets, ratchets, um, wrenches, pliers, stuff like that. When it comes to electronics, um, electrical stuff and air stuff, it gets a little fuzzy and where it's made and how it's made and all that. I know, uh, I think Sue Tools or something, which is one of their brands, makes their impacts. But that's not what we're here to talk about today. We're talk here to talk about this. And Lang Tools makes it. Let me turn you around here. You have probably seen this same exact kit with all kind of different names on it. This same exact kit uh, you could buy from Craftsman with the Craftsman name on it. It's because Lang Tools made it. Um, other Other Tool trucks have carried this same kit. Uh, other tool brands have carried this same kit. Lane Tools makes it. Um, so if you're out there and you're shopping for it, might as well just get the Lane Tools version and I'll give you a link below. This kit has saved me time and money. I use it to chase every single thread and bolt on the last engine I built, and I'm using it on this engine, everything that I'm not putting in new. I used it just last week to chase the threads on a lug, on a wheel stud for my daughter, stepdaughter's car. Um, I have also used it just all kind of times. My only complaint is there's, I don't have every size I need. But you can see the ones I use the most. Uh, this 12, which is a, it's a metric M12 by 1.25. You can see right there, uh, it's, it's real hard to see. I, I, can't, I can barely make it up. Um, this one here, it's a M12 by 1.5. Um, I mean, all of these have been used a lot. I think this uh, 14 by 1.5 I used recently. And just, you can see the 7 16th's been used. That's one that I've used on my, uh, I think that got used in the threads in the back of my block. I don't know. I, this 7 16th has gotten used. So this is a good kit. I, look, if you don't have this in your garage, you need it. And then for all the other stuff that you don't have one of these for, 
there's thread files. Now, I use these, but I've also got a set that are made by, uh, who's the big file maker? Uh, Nicholson. I've got a nice set made by Nicholson. And what it is is, so this is metric. And so you got your 18, 16, 20, 24, you know, all, all through that. And each one's gonna be a different pitch and a different thread size. And this is going to be your, uh, well, I guess both of these are metric. Not really sure, honestly. But, you know, that, that will be 1.5 threads per inch. That will be 1.25 threads per inch. So on and so forth. Um, these are your handles for your thread files. So you put this on one end so you can hold it while you're trying to clean up the threads. And all you're doing here is repairing threads. You're cleaning them up. They're boogered. Uh, someone has accidentally uh, cross-threaded it. So you're gonna run this up on there and clean it up. Or someone has uh, hit it with a hammer or something like that. You're gonna clean it up. Um, it's all in it. Plus, you can also clean up your threads, um, clean the dirt out of them and stuff like that. So get them all cleaned up, nice and fresh looking. So then go back up. Maybe they're a little rusty. Well, you can clean all the rust off of them. These are some things you do not want to use a tapping die set. Well, you know, not only do I clean up the wash, I mean the nut, but I clean up the uh, bolt or the hole, whatever. You don't want to use a tapping die kit for that. Tapping die kits are designed to cut threads. Can you use it if you're very careful? Yes. But... Tap and die kit will cut you some new threads if you're not careful. These are not are made to not do that. They're made to clean up your threads. Um, if I was to do that, I found this in a pawn shop for about 60, 50 or 60 bucks. If I was to do it again and I couldn't find it in a pawn shop, I would probably uh, buy a brand new one from Lane and I would probably buy, or on Amazon, and I would probably buy a bigger kit if I could. Uh, I need to expand this kit, but it is what it is. So here's what we got. So these are these are metric threads, and these are different thread pitches. So it'll be like I showed you with these. Um, these there's three twelves here, but one of them's a 1.5, one of them's a 1.25, and one of them is a 1.75. Um, these are fine thread SAE. These are coarse thread SAE. Um, and then of course we got these to clean up. Let's back up here. So I don't tell you this often. I hope I don't. Um, my, my microphone is going crazy. That ain't what I don't tell you often. But anyway, this is a must buy. This is one of these things you need in your shop. It's going to be the best 50 to 80 bucks you're going to spend. And it's going to save you money. I mean, it. this is going to pay for itself probably within, it's according to how much you do, but I'm willing to bet two, three jobs and it's paid for itself. Like, just in saving you trips to the uh, uh, parts store and not buying new nuts and bolts. Now, if your customer's buying them, eh, but still, might even save your customers a little money, which, you know, is good for business for you because they're going to come back to you, hopefully. Now, you don't have to buy the one on Snap-on. As a matter of fact, I think this one's discontinued. I could be wrong, but they've got a new one that I think they make. I think. Um... This was this is what I'd buy. There's all kind of other stuff out there, and some of it works, some of it don't. There's a multi-thread deal that you can clamp on bigger bolts, and I want to buy one and see how it does. But this right here, 
tried and true, proven, guarantee it works. I'll put my name on this one and tell you, if you don't like it, well, if you don't like it, you, you're doing something wrong. But anyway, buy the Lang Tools one. I believe you'll be happy. Thank y'all for watching this video. I appreciate y'all tuning in here to me so faithfully. Um, it, without you, without your support, I, I can't do this. Um, you don't mind, hit that like button. I need those likes. I need you to watch the video completely through and share me with your friends. They might need to know about this thing. Um, so let them know about it. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe right now. Y'all take care. Have a great week and have a blessed uh, day.